you draw a four-dimensional cube, a hypercube or tesseract, you must begin by drawing a cube. The cube being drawn here, though really 2D, gives the illusion of three-dimensional space. The overlapping squares, when their vertices are connected, make the flat surface of the paper appear to have depth. When looking at this drawing, it is probably most natural for you to see it as a cube rather than the web of lines that it really is. Take a moment to try to see it as a flat object. It will appear then, rather than a cube, simply as a pretty pattern on the paper. It takes a little effort to see the drawing this way, however, because we are used to seeing a cube. Now draw another cube, intersecting the first slightly, just as the two squares intersected when drawing the first cube. On paper, these cubes are crossing, but to a four-dimensional entity they would give the illusion of another dimension we cannot quite imagine, just as the two squares gave the illusion of depth. Now connect the vertices, just as with the two squares forming the cube. The result is a pattern, a symmetrical design on the paper, or that is how it appears to eyes not trained to look for the hypercube. Just as our first impression of the square was 3D space, and we had to make an effort to see it as a flat drawing, so is our perception of the tesseract at first just the opposite. We have to look carefully to get some idea of the four dimensions represented by the picture. When drawing the cube, remember, connecting the vertices made four new squares. To see the cube, you must be able to look at the flat drawing and see all the squares at once. Just so with the hypercube. If one can look at the image and see all the cubes it makes at once, one should be able to get an idea of 4D space. There are eight cubes in this hypercube, some of which are being outlined in color to make them easier to see. This, then, is a two-dimensional projection of the hypercube, a four-dimensional object.